Hey there everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com and we're going to take a quick look at the Google eBook Store. eBooks, that's their new book service. We thought it was going to be called Google Editions, but it's not. And we're going to take a look at it against Amazon Kindle because obviously it's kind of the big boy in the space. So we have an Android app and that's where you go and download it. You'll need to scan the QR code. It's also in the market. Uh, you can get it on Android, you can get it on the iPhone, the iPad, uh, the Sony e-reader, and online actually. You can read it just in your browser, no other app apps to load so that's nice so here's where you start buying books you have different categories free books um they have books of the day <laughs> just a whole bunch of different categories and of course you can search for books this is google right so it would be a little silly if we couldn't search for books so we have all sorts of things we can look for and that's good um books of interest so obviously kind of, yeah, I mean, how many different bestseller lists do we need, right? One interesting uh, little feature of these is you can preview books. I like that a lot. So there is The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. If you haven't read this by now, well, you're probably alone. So you got a few settings on the left-hand side there, and you can actually preview the first chapter of the book. And we'll just flip through it here. So you get side-by-side -side reading. I'm not sure how crazy I am about that on the desktop, but I can live with it. Not a huge deal. And so you can scroll, kind of scrub through the pages, and we can go through the first chapter. So you get a tiny bit of lag on the website, but I think I can live with it. Let's actually buy this book now. So you'll need to sign in with your Google account. and We will do that thusly, and then you buy the book, right? So let's buy it right now. And there we go. Buying the book, buying the book, bought, bought the book. Again, not the first time I bought this book. <laughs> it's cool. And I also might like the other uh, Millennium books. Sure enough, we'll buy them later, huh? So there we go. Now we can actually read the whole book, which is nice. I recommend you do so. It's a good book. So let's see, scrubbing through. Yeah, a tiny bit of lag but can't really complain too much. Now let's look at Amazon Kindle. So Kindle actually has a desktop program, right? It doesn't just run in the browser. So I had to download it and that is what you see here. And now we have to sign in with our Amazon account. So let's do that. Signing in, signing in. Already not impressed, taking too long. Sigh. There we go, Kindle for PC. Now there's actually a rumor out there that uh, they're coming out with an online version of this, so it might not be a standalone app for too long. Let's hope so. And there we go. So now we see all the books that I've downloaded in Amazon Kindle. And as you can see, the Millennium Trilogy already is there, as is Cryptonomicon. So let's fire up Dragon Tattoo and see what all we can get with it. And taking time, still not impressed. Come on, come on, you can do it. Wow, yeah, see, that's just no good to me, right? By now I've moved on, I'm doing something else. Oh, okay, as long as we're here, let's read. So you can see you can maneuver around with your mouse, you can use the arrow keys, or you can click left and right to change pages. Let's take that full screen and, yeah, see, that's a pretty wide column to be reading. Not totally crazy about that. Hmm. But the good news is you have plenty of options. So you can flip back and forth pretty quick. That's nice. Yeah, it's so wide. That's really bugging me. Really, really bugging me. Uh, but you do have plenty of options within the app, so that's good. And the really good thing about this, and this works for both this and the... Uh, the Google app is it syncs your place in the book. So wherever you're reading in this program, when you go to another device, it'll pick right up where you left off. And that's actually very important. Very, very important. All right, so that's a pretty good look at the uh, desktop clients. And let's move on and go look at the mobile client, shall we?